Hey Parasites and welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog and I am out she outside where they're filming Venom 2 right now. Hey, what's up, Parasites? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog. And we are very close to the movie coming out. Actually, the day this goes up, I'm planning this for maybe Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. And so hopefully this will go up right before the film comes out. So even less time than where I'm filming it right now, the movie will come out. And that's very exciting. We're finally here. Seven years of doing the Venom Vlog. Seven years of Tom working on this project with Kelly and all these talented people that we've talked about over the years. And it's been really awesome and really fun getting to meet all of you and know all of you and I just, I really want to thank you. And one of the things we had a lot of fun with, with the first film, and a lot of things I learned about stuff on, was talking about the marketing and following marketing and things like that. And, you know, I've worked in marketing in certain areas, but uh, seeing some of this happen and seeing how much fun they had with the first film, marketing the first Venom movie, it was really fun. It was like one of the coolest stretches of this show, I feel, because I felt like I learned a lot about things and, you know, not just marketing itself, but how information and news gets out there and how I decided I wanted to cover news on this channel and how I wanted to avoid certain things like rumors or what, you know, influencers say or, you know, what someone who has scoops say. Like that kind of was a defining, you know, moment or time, stretch of time for how I wanted to conduct myself on the show and through that met a lot of you and so i just want to say again like thanks for being on this journey thanks for being on this ride and it's been fun i i can't believe that we got a third venom movie like that you know and i after the first one i felt dude we're probably going to get at least two more of these and sony's like we're going to do a universe we're going to do all this but i was always hoping that these movies would just be their own thing and it seems like they have while also apparently with this one might you know set up a bigger universe or, or tie into some kind of plan that is being set up. So we'll see all that. I'm gonna avoid spoilers for now because in this episode, I just wanna talk about marketing again and talk about how much fun they've clearly been having marketing this film, Venom The Last Dance, and all the information and news that have come out that ties into Venom as a character, not just comics, but video games and, and other things that have been happening all while we're on this path and leading up to this film coming out. So obviously one of the first things that I got involved with was the art contest. I don't think I'm still allowed to show off my art yet, but I'll at least show off the winners who won the contest. And trust me, I am not bummed out losing to these four posters. They are so awesome. Uh, they look really, really cool. I did see someone notice that there was like a swipe kind of thing. That's like a term in comic books that Bleeding Cool does where they put two images side by side and they say, oh, there's a comparison there. Um, I don't know, like if the artist was looking at a statue for a pose and just drew that pose, like... I don't know. I get it. You know, it's like, it's a cool pose. It's a cool statue. Um, but some people were kind of going like, oh, they shouldn't have won or, or whatever. And I'm like, ah, I don't know. Like they still drew an amazing piece of art. Um, it's still very cool looking, at least in my eyes. And, uh, and all the other posters were awesome. So it was one of those where I was like, oh, I'm bummed when I got the notification that I wasn't one of the winners. But then when I went through and clicked on each one and, and read some of the stories and bios of the winners, which we had like the access to, um, I was like, dude, I'm glad these guys won. There was one guy that was saying like how he was like, this is five years. Like, I, you know, I was starting to get into this style of artwork and I've been really hustling at it every day for five years. And and I'm so glad it paid off and, and that I won, you know, one of the winners of this contest. And I'm like, that's good for that. That's awesome. Like, that's what you want to hear from someone who wins an art contest is that they they put in the work and they grind it and, and then look at the results. So for me, like, I, you know, I do art on the side. It, I am certainly not like on their level. So I'm proud of the piece I did. It's certainly one of the better pieces I've made, but it is nowhere, in my opinion, near the winners. So when I saw the winners, I was like, I bow to thee. I bow to thee. Um, so yeah, for me, amazing. Like awesome, awesome stuff. So hopefully you guys see, saw those images and uh, enjoyed them. They're very, very cool. And they're posting them everywhere online. And once Tongle and Sony, once they say that we can share ours, I'll definitely post it on social media so you guys can see what our poster ended up looking like. So um, also they have TV spots that are dropping left and right. Ever since that last trailer, there's been all kinds of TV spots, including a new one recently where they did Mrs. Chen because they're not just doing TV spots, but they're doing little like Instagram posts and TikTok and, you know, Twitter and all that, Facebook. They're doing all the social medias where they're showing like little clips and stuff and cutting together things with like Juno Temple in it and getting like some of her story and some of her character. And then, like I said, Mrs. Chen, who is now a high roller in Vegas. So like they've been posting up a lot of cool stuff and then some other things that are coming, you know, leading up to the, the movie release. So there's cool things ahead. They have 
all those TV spots, they had a Coco the robot, you know, the little square robot that you can put drinks in. That was going around the Sony lot, and it was also going around some race car events, and they, they had race car events as well. Um, and I think I saw earlier today. So, like, there's so much coming out where they're just totally having fun with, you know, the marketing and, and showing off this film and, and just getting the character out there, putting Venom on hot ones, you know, which is awesome. They had the, a tweet a while ago where they were like, which fictional character would you like to see on hot ones? And I wrote, duh, Venom or Venom, duh, or something like that. And uh, and that was like two months before they announced or around a month and a half, maybe that they before they announced that Venom was going to be on hot ones in that little clip. And I just thought that was awesome. And, and speaking of hot ones, I've been watching that show since the early days of it when he was having like um, hip hop artists and stuff on the show and they were, you know, a smaller channel, like, you know, maybe like 40,000 subs. Um, so to see him grow, Sean, and get the kind of guests he's been getting, like Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds and like all these people he's been getting on there, Academy Award winners, I think some of them, like, I'm just like, dude, I'm so, it's so awesome. I actually wrote in one of the comments and it's old, old videos. I said, I hope to get famous enough to be on your show one day. And I think he said something like, Dude, I, you know, you don't have to be too famous to be on my show. You're cool. But now you have to be like <laughs> mega famous. So, yeah, I didn't I didn't get in there when I had the chance, I think. But uh, but he's awesome. Like, I love watching Hot Ones. Great show. And it was cool to see that the Venom has actually tied into that. Um, but speaking of music, I was mentioning musicians on Hot Ones. They had Busta Rhymes come out and do some stuff, promos for Venom, um, both with Venom rapping and then like some where he's just like, you know, uh, posting a video with him turning into Venom. I mean, he's had some stuff. They announced Dan Deacon doing the score for the movie, which is awesome, which I don't know if we covered that, but that was something I wanted to mention in this video. And so he was out there promoting stuff and promoting some of the music from the film. Um, Megan The Stallion, she posted a video and I think might have another one dropping at some point soon. Um, Ian is uh, an artist that I think is working on a song for the soundtrack. So that's cool that, you know, hopefully they announce that soon or if they didn't already. Hopefully by the time this goes up, some of these things are announced. I might have to wait to post this, actually. Um, grandson, Tom Morello and Roman Morello, um, you know, awesome musicians and awesome people. I've met Tom Morello a couple times and I'm a big fan of Grandson. Uh, actually learned about Grandson through Mike Shinoda um, from Linkin Park and uh, I be became a big fan. So knowing that they're doing a song on the soundtrack is epic. Like just this soundtrack is going to be awesome. It's, it reminds me a lot of the first Venom movie, which I thought had a really great soundtrack. They had a good song with Eminem in the second movie, but some of the other songs didn't really gel with me, like uh, some of the other soundtrack songs that you heard in the film. But the first one I thought had a killer soundtrack. So I think they're going back to that with this one, and I'm very happy. Um, the score, though, in the second one, Marco Botrami, he did a great job on the score. Um, so, yeah, we just have <laughs> it's a lot of stuff. DJ Wood, Woo Kid uh, is, has uh, Tom, I think, on his podcast coming up and has a song. Like, I mean, there's so much or remix or something going on with Venom rapping. Like, there's a lot. And they're having fun. Like I said, this marketing has just been really awesome to see because it reminds me a lot of that first film where we were covering things like those posters from China where it was like college girls, you know, and Venom was helping them get to class and stuff and holding their books for them. And it was just like a really unique marketing, you know, uh, campaign that was effective in, in China. So I thought that was wild. And, uh, and so this kind of reminds me of that kind of fun where they're just like, let's just embrace the goofiness of this character and let's show that off with some of the things we do for the marketing. Um, they went to South America. I think they did like a wrestling event um, where like Tom was in the ring with Kelly uh, just a couple days ago. So, I mean, they're just going everywhere promoting this film. And it's been awesome. They got popcorn buckets, all the merch, obviously, that you can get at Regal and Cinemark and all these places. So, you know, check your local theaters. They're releasing posters, IMAX posters, 3D posters, you know, motion posters. Like they got so much going on and all of it is just wildly fun and it's great seeing you guys reacting to it like that's one of my favorite parts is going onto Instagram and seeing some of my followers have already liked it you know people that I've met doing this show that we've become friends and stuff and seeing you guys already have liked it and I'm like that's awesome like that's so cool and actually there's a couple of you that if you don't see that I've liked something you'll send it to me in a DM <laughs> to make sure I see it and I, I'm grateful for that too because yeah with all the switching and less time that I've had around this uh, past like year and a half two years like it's been it does get hard to keep up with this stuff sometimes that's why I even have blue I'll have him go on my Twitter and he'll retweet anything Venom or Alan Wake or other things that I like he'll retweet them so that way, when I go to Twitter, you know, whenever I'm fronting, I can just go to my page and see what he retweeted for me so I can catch up 
on certain things that happen during the day. Um, and I try to have Purple do that too, but when he's at work, he's like a no phone guy. So I can't make him do anything uh, sometimes with that, but Blue will definitely help out. So yeah, I mean, there's, again, they had that. Uh, speaking of social media, they have venomized pets, so you can upload a picture of your animals. So I did post a picture of Echo and of Ace and got them venomized. So there they are right there. I shared that on my Instagram and it's it was, you know, fun to do that and to kind of remember those two knuckleheads and, you know, all the happiness they brought us and, and me especially. So, um, so that, you know, that's awesome to that we got to do that and other people are venomizing their pets. And then that account, the Venom Movie account also venomized like camels and, and you know, giraffes and other animals just to have fun with it again just having fun like it just it looks like they're just having fun and uh, and the more that happens and people react to it and s embrace that fun you know it'll hopefully put more people in the theater and get them excited for this and that all culminated um with the new york comic-con uh, they did a big thing at new york comic-con for the movie they had a panel they were up there with craven the hunter and you know it was kelly and tom and a couple of the cast members the, talking about the film i think chewy was there juno was there and then from there, they uh, got to meet Kelly and Tom, got to meet Todd McFarlane, and that was apparently their first time ever meeting, which was awesome to see, and they filmed it, and they got it all on camera, and in the middle of an interview, the guy's like, hey, I have a special guest here, and Todd came out, and then you got that with all of them talking about the character and just what they like about him, and you know, Todd, he's a very visual guy, he's an artist, so he's always talking about the look of Venom, and you know, how big he is, and all that, and he's like, and I love how you did it in the movie, because He's big in the movie and he's got the teeth and everything. And, you know, the tongue was more of an Eric Larson addition later that uh, we talked about on the show. And that was something that you guys taught me. I was like, oh, wow, really? That's interesting. Um, so just really cool to see them in the same room together, though, and chatting about the character. Uh, just awesome stuff. And then right from New York, they had this big fan event there where you could ride the horse. Our friend Carrie Dixon was really cool. You know, she got to go to the event and I was seeing all of her amazing posts. So I'll try to share a couple, but make sure you follow her. She runs the unofficial San Diego Comic-Con blog too. She's an amazing, amazing person and loves these movies as much as all of us do. I mean, she is a huge, huge fan. So to see her not only get into New York Comic-Con and go to that panel and see that happen and be there and take pictures and meet Tom, she also got to go to the fan event and got some cool swag there and hung out and had fun there. And I think she's gonna try to go to the premiere. So if she does, I'll try to edit in pictures of her at the premiere or just premiere pictures, but that's coming up in New York too in a couple days. So all of this is happening all at once, or maybe it's tomorrow, I can't remember, but it's, it's happening soon. So there's just a lot going on and there's a lot with this movie. And now we're at the premiere already and that means the movie's just days away. Reviews are gonna start going up. like. You know, early reviews and spoilers will start hitting out there. So again, if you want to avoid them, please do. I'm not going to share any spoilers on here for at least a week after the film's release. So opening weekend, I'm going to see the movie in regular standard, you know, version, and then I'm going to see it in 3D. And hopefully I won't have any issues with 3D. Um, and then uh, if I do, you know, I'll deal with that if it happens. Um, but also IMAX. So I'm going to see it three times this opening weekend, um, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And then uh, Sunday, I think Blue's going to go see it because he's interested in watching it. And uh, and that's, you know, so between at least me and Blue, four times this opening weekend, which is, you know, hopefully we love the movie. <laughs> so this weekend, we're only going to share non-spoiler thoughts. So we'll have like an out of the theater reaction from me where I just kind of give you my quick thoughts on the movie. Then I'll post like a non-spoiler review, like around Sunday or something, maybe Monday. And then the following week, when we after we cover the second weekend box office numbers, we'll drop our spoiler review. And then from that, a week after that, during the third week the movie's out in the theaters, we'll do a live discussion. Because hopefully by then it'll be out in more regions around the world. So that's the plan. So, uh, so just for those of you who want to know. So no spoilers on any of the comments or any of the videos until at least the second week the film comes out. And either right before we cover the second weekend box office numbers or right after is when the first spoiler video will drop. And then the second one will be a live discussion. Like I said, the third weekend the film is out here in the US. So uh, yeah, a lot of Venom stuff coming up and not a lot of episodes left. We're still gonna try to wrap up the show around episode 900. So there's still some comic book stuff I gotta cover. Uh, some stories that are from the path that I never got to cover, I might do in venom vlog shorts you know we still have a few more of those we can knock out and if you combine venom vlog all 900 episodes and the venom vlog live episodes and the parasite podcast and the shorts 
um, you pretty much got a thousand, over a thousand episodes of Venom on this channel. And that's kind of always was our goal after a certain point. After we hit like four or 500 episodes, we aimed for a thousand and we're, we're pretty much at that point now. So again, thank you guys so much. Um, if you want to see Venom and other things outside of the movies, obviously you can read the comic books. There's a big event going on right now called Venom War, which I'm going to give my thoughts on that very soon. Um, I have Contest of Champions. If you play video games, mobile games, there's adding Scream and a couple other characters to Contest of Champions. They're doing like a symbiote event for Halloween, I believe. You got Marvel Rivals, which is going to be coming out, and they're doing beta testing and Venoms in that game. So you can always follow that account and see what they're going to do with Venom over there. You got the Marvel vs. Capcom collection, which is great because you got, you know, Venom in the first Marvel vs. Capcom and in the second one. So really cool to play as that character, and I'm glad that they re-released that. Big congrats to all the fans that really pushed for that. That's um, so epic that they got that to get re-released. So uh, yeah, make sure you pick up a copy of that. Digital, I think the physical one comes out soon. Over in Fortnite, they got like a car with Venom parts in it. I don't know if that's come out yet or when that's coming out. Blue is more of the Fortnite expert than I am. I have played a couple nights um, and I have not done very well in that game. Um, he does a lot better than I do. He was telling me about some Symbiote Cup coming up where you can try to win the uh, Agony skin and also She Venom. And he said, but if they don't win it, that you can also buy it a couple days later. So that will be in the shop, I guess, at some point coming up the week of, or the week of the movie coming out, you know, probably even the day the movie comes out. So keep an eye out for that on Fortnite. And then also PUBG, another mobile game, is doing a cool crossover with Venom where you can get like the symbiote bonded to your character and do like super jumps and like, you know, grab things and pull yourself or grab enemies and pull them towards you. Um, there's a whole bunch of new skills that they're adding to that game that are tied into Venom um, and the symbiote itself and the look of him from the film. So just a lot of things. Like I said, so much. And uh, and I thought this was going to be a less than a 20 minute video. And it looks like we're going to be right at 20 minutes. So I've covered as much as I can remember anyway regarding all the marketing and all the stuff that they're doing with Venom right now. If there's anything I missed, please let me know down below because I really do want to credit everything that is out there right now pushing for this film because it's a lot. Like I haven't seen a movie marketed like this probably since Deadpool and Wolverine, which wasn't too, too long ago, but still like it's, maybe it's cause I'm the Venom vlog and I'm, I, yeah, I try to be knee deep in it, but there's just so much coming out for this, you know? And I think with what Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman did promoting Deadpool and Wolverine was really awesome. And then also what Ryan Reynolds did to help promote his wife's film after that, Blake's movie, that was also pretty cool. But Venom seeing how much fun they're having Again, it just reminded me all the way back to the first film and how much fun I had covering all that marketing. And now here we are again with more fun marketing and so much so that I can't even cover it all in one video. So again, if I miss anything, let me know down below and we'll keep talking as always down there. And after this, hopefully, you know, you'll see uh, reviews coming up now. I'll try to get this video up like Tuesday or Wednesday right before the film comes out. Um, and then, you know, after this, it's just talking about the movie in non-spoilers and also some of the comics to kind of fill in as we, you know, we wait for box office numbers and things like that. So we're going to have some fun, but uh, we also have to do it in a very condensed way because we only have, a, you know, about 20 episodes left of this show. So it's it's been a fun ride, but it's not over yet. 20 episodes is kind of a lot, especially considering I only drop a couple a month now. So, uh, But we're going to be hammering out the rest of these all the way to the Blu-ray release. So we're going to go through these 20 episodes probably pretty quickly. And we'll add a lot of shorts just to help out to get some quick information out there. So yeah, thank you guys so much as always for watching. I really do appreciate it. Enjoy the film. By the time this posts, hopefully you'll be out there watching it. And we will definitely discuss it in non-spoilers first and then in spoilers later on. So hold on to your thoughts, write them down, get them ready. When we do the live stream and the spoiler review, we're going to get into all that and we can sink our teeth into spoilers in those comment sections. Thanks so much. See you in the future. Peace.